All right, family, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? I'm inside a possible new addition to the fleet. If I get this, I'm going to call it Noir. Noir means black because I'm going to black this whole thing out. This is going to be the addition for my motorcycle luxury transport company for Ride Fit Nation. I'm not going to be doing anything that is not up to par. So when I pick you guys up, deliver your motorcycles, pick you up off the side of the road, I want to do it in style. I want to do it in style. So let me give you guys an idea on what this thing is. It is a 20, it's a 2008 Sprinter. Look at that. I'll give y'all a better view. You know, the thing about business, when you look at business, you really want to start to think about the future. And the future is transport, cargo, shipping. That's the future in business. Remember when I told you that? Because when COVID hit, there was a lot of issues here. You know what I mean? So this one is extended as the high roof on top. However, they do have others that's a little longer with the double wheel. The 2500 is perfect for me. It does not have that DEF bull crap. Hold on. It doesn't have that DEF crap that's been messing up a lot of these diesel vehicles. When I close it up, it's fantastic. Look, the doors work. <laughs> the doors work. You know what I'm saying? Ride Fit Nation, baby. Yo, big up to my man, Trey, from Ripping on Tools for making this, this T-shirt for me with a new logo. Let me know your thoughts so far. Let me, let me know if you, if you kind of see where I'm going with this because my, my goal is to inspire and encourage all of you. Um, I'm going to see what the numbers look like and if I happen to pick it up, we'll see it. Like I said, I'm going to call that Noir. Noir means black. But I might change my name. Who knows? I might change it. Let's go. It's gonna be hard, but you can take it. Want you to cry, then you will fake it. Give it a beat, and you will shake it. The finish line, and you'll make it. Don't you let it. Right, guys so you saw the video and i gave you guys a little tour of, of the sprinter and i said if i get it i'm gonna call it what huh noir right and i'm here with brandon one source automotive solutions when you want to get your vehicles you get it uh we're about to get those keys you know what i'm saying brandon you want to big up you want to big up the company real quick oh no okay, i appreciate it man. come on man <laughs> Look, that's brandon how right doing? there how you doing hey everybody you you, you want to get that car Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at Sprinters, there you go. There it goes. And you deal with other vehicles as well. Oh, sure. Anything anybody wants within reason. Anything you want within reason, all right? So, guys, once again, let me give you the address. Um, it's 11852 Lewis Brazelton Boulevard, Suite 4A. That's in Brazelton, Georgia. Zip code is 30517. Let's go. All right, y'all always hear me saying it, man. Put your mind to it. Put your mind to life. I'm here gassing up two vehicles, though. <laughs> Put your mind to life, man, and don't be afraid to jump after it. Here's the truck, well, the van. I'm out here getting the gas for the first time. It's all, it's all diesel. There's no DEF sensors crap in here. It's a straight raw diesel. You get a chance to see what it looks like in, in the nighttime. This thing is a beauty. Imagine me coming to pick you up in this thing, man. Woo! And when I'm finished doing, adding all my little flavors to this, you're gonna love it. And look, I just put $68.58 of diesel in here. So it shouldn't even cost that much to fill it up. A little bit more than my than my SUV, but that's pretty much it. There we go. Bam, let's go. All right, it's the next morning. I feel good. Voila, here it is on the property. You guys saw it last with the uh, um, Sprinter on the dealership lot. Now it's on the Ride Fit Nation lot, okay? And it's look at the steam coming off of it from the morning chill. 
Can y'all see the steam coming off of it? Wow. All right, let's do another circle around. Guys, you know, the whole journey of what I share with you guys is for inspiration, man. It's, it's showing you, like, you know, you can go out there, put your mind to something, and encourage yourself. You don't, need to, you don't need people to encourage you all the time. But sometimes it's worth having people that could encourage you to do better, to be better, to do something out the box. You know what I'm saying? Personally, I don't have time to sit back and waste. I want to just go and go and go. And there are a lot of people who will try to talk you out of your dreams or your goals. And then if you're not strong enough, you will listen to them. And you will never get to where you need to get to. So that's what I'm aiming in my life. I always aim to listen to what makes sense. But if my mind says, hey, let's do it, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? This thing is beautiful. I like it. Woo. So now the piece that I have to start to focus on, right, is looking at all the different ways that money can be generated with this van. It's not just motorcycles. It's anything that can generate some income with this van i'm going to make it interchangeable that i could take put seats in put seats back out i'm going to do a lot of little things that i know will make this become the the home of goliath I, yes i changed the name i had said i'm going to do noir n-o-i-r but then i said nah goliath sounds better and that's the name. The official name is Goliath. I'm not taking it back. I'm not going backwards. So welcome, Goliath, to the family. We got Beast. We got Goliath. And I don't know what else we're going to end up getting. But here's what I need for y'all to do for me. Anytime you have ideas and services that I can offer, leave it in the comments. If you have a company and you need my services, leave it in the comments. Um, if you know people who need my service, like motorcycle transport, pickups and stuff like that, recommend me. You know what I'm saying? P I'm putting it out there, guys. Recommend what I do. Sensei. My phone number is 404-971-0458. Yes, I'm putting my number out there in the public because this is what I use for business. All right? So 404-971-0458. All right? Let's go. And guys, let's get this party started. Let's go in the back and I'll show you some things I need to do. All right. So here it is. I'm able to stand up all the way up in here. I ain't got to worry about hitting my head or nothing. Just to give you an idea how tall this is. So you can have ape hangers, any kind of bike, and it will fit inside. Now, this, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't like... So here's the thing. The, this compartment is excellent because in a Sprinter, you know, none of this is insulated back here. This is no insulation. So if it's hot, if it's cold... It's going to be hard for the vehicle to stay warm or stay cool. So that's why these compartments or dividers are put. But with the divider, it cuts away the freedom of movement with that chair, right? That's one thing. Another thing that I'm going to do is I want to put a chair. I want to put a row of seats right here. That way I can have it, take it out, put it in when I want to. And of course, there's a whole lot of room here for the ramp system. I'm gonna use the load all ramp system when I get the when I when I reel for my money again. I have to order the load all ramp, which the bikes are gonna be here. And we have a multitude of D-rings here. Lots of D-rings that I can strap down the bikes and do whatever I want to do. The TV system, I wanna put a TV system in here. That's a swivel based system. And I might put it up here. I'm gonna look to see what um what type of system they got that's fold away, that's foldable. I want to get a little bed that I can fold down, fold back up. So it's a lot of things that I want to do in this truck. You know what I'm saying? And hold on a second. Can I open this from the inside? I never even checked that. Let me see. I should leave it open from the inside. Yep. There we go. I like, I like the fact that this has a step ramp. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to move that. The ramp system should be able to come all the way out over that. So I should I should be safe with that. So there you go. So keep an eye out for the upgrades. If you have any ideas on how to make this thing even better, let me know what's up. I'm going to change out these, these the rims that's on here right now and put on some different style rims. I don't like these type of rims. This is just the standard 
you know those type, those standard rims i'm gonna change those out and uh and that's it you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna research like i said different ways to make some money from this i'm out like comment share subscribe right fit nation all the way keep it positive keep it friendly keep on driving keep on grinding no keep on thriving forget grinding keep on thriving because that is exactly what we're doing we are thriving all right i'm out peace